Britney Spears has revealed for the first time she had an abortion at the age of 19 after falling pregnant with Justin Timberlake's child. The singer, who was freed from the constraints of her conservatorship in 2021, revealed in a bombshell new interview that she made the decision after her first love Justin told her he didn't want to be a father. The pop stars dated from 1999 until to 2002 when a split turning ugly with Justin making a series of digs at his ex in the media. Reflecting on the his actions, Justin issued a groveling apology to Britney in 2021. The statement came following the release of the Framing Britney Spears documentary that put his treatment of the troubled singer under the spotlight. The documentary explored how Justin launched his solo career in the wake of his tumultuous split with Britney, even hiring a lookalike to appear in his crimey A River video to make it appear as though she cheated. It led to fans slamming the singer for his treatment of Britney with many also pointing out his handling of the Janet Jackson Super Bowl controversy, where he was accused of throwing the nasty singer under the bus. In a statement to fans, Justin admitted that as a white male he has benefited from an industry that condones misogyny and racism and promised to do better. Janet Jackson was cancelled by the media in 2004 when her breast was accidentally exposed during her halftime show with Justin, while the former NSYNC singer's career flourished. Fans expressed their anger that Justin did not speak up to defend Janet from the abuse. Addressing the backlash on his Instagram page, Justin said he was aware of the torrent of criticism being directed at him and wanted to issue a heartfelt apology to both Britney and Janet for his past behavior. Taking to Instagram, he shared, I've seen the messages, tags, comments and concerns and I want to respond. I am deeply sorry for the times in my life where my actions contributed to the problem, where I spoke out of turn, or did not speak up for what was right. I understand that I fell short in these moments and in many others and benefited from a system that condones misogyny and racism. He went on, I specifically want to apologize to Britney Spears and Janet Jackson both individually because I care for and respect these women and I know I failed. I also feel compelled to respond, in part, because everyone involved deserves better and most importantly, because this is a larger conversation that I wholeheartedly want to be part of and grow from. Turning his attention to the music industry generally, Justin said the system is flawed. It sets men especially white men, up for success. It's designed this way, he explained. As a man in a privileged position I have to be vocal about this. Because of my ignorance, I didn't recognize it was all that it was for a while it was happening in my own life but I do not want to ever benefit from others being pulled down again. I have not been perfect in navigating all of this throughout my career. I know this apology is the first step and doesn't absolve the past. I want to take accountability for my own missteps in all of this as well as part of a world that uplifts and supports. Justin finished his message, I care deeply about the well-being of the people I love and have loved. I can do better and I will do better. After the statement went live. Justin's wife of 12 years Jessica Biel was one of the first to leave a comment. The actress wrote, I love you followed by a single red love heart. Justin's three relationship with Britney and the bitter breakup that followed has been one of the main talking points from the framing Britney Spears documentary. In the documentary, Justin is accused of using public humiliation to further his own career. New York Times critic Wesley Morris referenced Justin's crimey A River music video, explaining how provocative scenes provided assumptions about what went on behind closed doors to create a tabloid buzz at Britney's expense.
the way people treated her, to be very high school about it, was like, she was the school slut and he was the school quarterback. He essentially weaponizes the video for one of his singles to incriminate her in the demise of their relationship, said Morris. While Dave Holmes, a former MTV video jockey agreed, Justin sort of made it seem, rightly or wrongly, like she had cheated on him. It really seemed like he took control of the narrative. Since the release, fans have also re-examined how Justin escaped from the Super Bowl controversy that left Janet Jackson's career in tatters. Justin ripped off Janet's bodice with the intention of flashing her bra but accidentally exposed her breast live on TV to an audience of millions. Janet was forced to apologize numerous times, was banned from attending the Grammy Awards and saw her music blacklisted by multiple stations. Her career never fully recovered while Justin was invited to perform at the Super Bowl again in 2018.